So welcome back. I want to share a little bit about my journey and my own story. Obviously, I'll make it quick and I'll share some of the aspects of how I was able to change some of the patterns, some of the habits that truly created my story and my own belief systems that held me back in many ways. Because when I look at my past, to be honest with you, I barely recognize who that person was when I look at some of the pictures and stuff because I've transformed and changed so much my environment, my thought process, my belief systems that I feel like I'm a completely different person that lives in a completely different reality. So let's start when I was a young kid. What ended up happening is that I left Puerto Rico in elementary school. And once I moved, I moved constantly. In fact, I went to many different elementary schools, many different middle schools and high schools. I would move every year or my mom would move every year. And obviously I was with my mom, so I would move with her, but I hated it. I hated the fact that I would have to meet friends and then move and then have to meet new friends and try to make friends and be the new kid all the time until I started reframing and I started seeing the positives of it. Every time I moved, there was a new beginning. Every time I moved, I would meet new people. I would learn about different belief systems. I would learn that even within the United States, if you move from one state to another, the culture is totally different sometimes. And what people believe is true and what not true. So it opened my reality to a different world. So I started embracing it to the fact that I used to actually started liking moving. And at that point, I did realize that I could reframe a lot of the situations that I saw as negative. But what ended up happening as an adult is that I continued that story. I continued that pattern. Even though now I had full control of what I did, every year I would move. And because I used to enjoy the process, if I didn't move, I would start getting itchy. It was like, okay, where, where are we moving next? But then I started questioning that. Is that truly what I want? Do I want to be moving all the time? Do I want to be spending all that time and energy looking for a place to move and then moving process, unpacking, packing, and stuff like that? Why don't I want something more stable? And I created that when I started changing and realizing that that was still part of the story that I wanted to change. So let's rewind back a little bit of my educational journey. So what ended up happening was that I was pretty successful in middle school and high school and somewhat, but because I still had a lot of resentment in my last final years, I wasn't as committed as I could have been. So a lot of people started looking at me and telling me that, you know, I just wasn't college material and all this pricing down. And when I started telling people I was going to college, some people just looked at me and laughed. You know, I was lost at the time. I was running the streets and stuff like that. And people were like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're going to college. Sure, sure you are. And I was like, no, I'm going to be a zoologist. I'm going to go to college. So when I went to college, one of the first things I people I met was the dean. And he looked at me. He was like, you called me over here for this and walked away from me. My teachers planted seeds of doubt before I'd even turn in a paper asking me if I was college material because I just didn't fit in into that environment because I was one of the only minorities in the school and I wasn't truly accepted in the school that I went to. So I failed my first year of college. And I start to solidify this belief system of myself that I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't capable enough, and I just started to give up on this idea. I went to work in construction, and a couple months later, my brother passed away in a car accident. And his death was one of the most painful things that I had gone through my experience. But something happened with that, is that it challenged my story. See, I looked at him as somebody that's like immortal. Nothing would ever happen to him. You know, we could do crazy stuff, and we were always fine. And, and all of a sudden, him dying made me realize the vulnerabilities of life and started questioning, if I was wrong about that, what else am I wrong about? What is possible in life, both negative and positive? I have to embrace life now because who knows? Who knows what tomorrow will bring? And I took that pain, and I created purpose out of it. So I ended up going back to school and I took a psychology class and that psychology class started to change my understanding of my mind as a tool. I started changing my understanding of the story, the unconscious mind, all the, a lot of the tools that I talk about in this program and that we talk about in this program. So I started to change my story. So I went from failing to getting A's in my associate, my bachelor's, my master's and finishing my PhD with, it, with all A's. Why? Because my perception of myself changed, my story changed. And not only in that aspect, my story changed in a lot of ways. I realized that all the relationships that I was getting into were chaotic because I realized that my story was created watching people in uh, relationships full of drama and chaos and things like that, dysfunction. So I created that within my own story until I said, no more of this. 
I am creating my story and I started to find evidence that people had developed something different. So with that said, I created a non-negotiable list and I looked and created until I found the right person for me, which was Natalie, which perfectly fit with the kind of relationship and life that I wanted to live. Even my mindset when it came to finances, you know, part of the reason that we moved around a lot because we struggled financially. So I would start these businesses and I worked and stuff like that, but I had terrible money management and I was living pretty much in poverty because I was living the same story. When I would get money, it was like I felt awkward because I was not used to being in that position and I would always do things to sabotage myself. So what ended up happening is I had to look at that story as well and I changed it to now be able to live in abundance and live in an environment that truly feels right to what I wanted to create in my own story. And I share this with you because in every aspect of my story, I had created belief systems. I had dragged all those things from what other people showed me and what other people told me was possible for what I created an understanding of. And as I challenged those things, as I used the tools that you'll be presented with in this course, my life changed drastically. And I hope that you create a compelling story that you'll be able to look back and be able to see yourself and be like, wow, I can't believe of how much I've changed to living the life I was living, to living a life that I could have never dreamed of. But this is my ideal self and the life that I've always wanted. Thank you.